basically the two things that we learned here is parallel lines have the same slope. Orthogonal lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Now, we're not talking about vectors. Are the vectors parallel or are the vectors perpendicular? So to do that, what I told you was, at least for the dot product, if you do u dot v and you get a product of 0, or you get an answer of 0 for the dot product, then they are perpendicular. However, if you guys were going to do the dot product of this, 5 times negative 10 over 4 plus 3 times negative 3 over 2, and then add those up, you can definitely do that. And that's not too bad, right? However, before I even did that, I would recommend doing the slopes. Because yes, you could figure this out. And if it equals 0, then you know you have an answer, right? You know you're going to have orthogonal. However, what I would recommend doing is find the slope of u. And to find the slope of u, and to find the slope of v first. If you can find the slopes and they're the same, then you can determine if they're parallel. And if they're not parallel, then, then do the dot product to see if they're orthogonal. And if they're not parallel and they're not orthogonal, then they are, of course, neither. Does that make sense, Ju Justin? You can put that away. You don't need, really need that out right now. So you have the slope of u. So again, slope of u is going to be the change in y over the change of x. Since it's in component form, it's changing from 0, 0. So the slope of this is 3 over 5. Right? Just like I did over here, the y over the x. Um, so therefore, then I do the slope of v. And in this case, I do, uh, that should be m, not v. So m equals negative 3 halves divided by negative 10 over 4. Well, whenever I have a fraction divided by a fraction, if anything you take out of this class, is we know that we need to multiply by our reciprocals. Anytime you multiply a number by its reciprocal, that's going to go to 1. You're left with negative 12 um, over negative 20. And therefore, if you divide the top and bottom by 4, you can simplify that to 3 fifths. So therefore, since they have the same slope, we can confirm, Ashley, that they are indeed parallel. OK? Huh? This one? This is the dot product. Right, you're adding u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. OK? But I, I, what I'm trying to show you is why do all that work if it's much easier just to do the slopes, right? So I would check the slopes first, see if the slopes are the same. If they're not the same, then do the dot product. So what did you do? Because I know you. Huh? I didn't do the Okay.